When somebody says fire starter, normally we think ferro rod, lighter, matches, something like that. That's what we normally think of right away. And although, yes, they're fire starters, we need to team them up with something. Like that ferro rod needs to light something. Now, if you've been around the outdoor survival bushcraft community for any amount of time, you definitely heard of these fire starters. They are the DIY fire starter of choice when it comes to outdoor enthusiasts. So to make these at home fire starters, all that you're gonna need is petroleum jelly, cotton balls, and a pill bottle. So to make these things, literally just take that cotton ball, smear it inside that Vaseline, and then I just jam them inside here. You could fit a whole bunch of them in there, keep them nice and protected, and you'll be good. Now these fire starters light up very well with a ferrocerium rod, lighter, or matches. Literally that easy. That quick, that easy, very reliable fire starters that you can have a good time making at home. So here's the thing, are there better fire starters out there on the market? Probably yes. Are there worse fire starters? Probably yes. But the good thing with these is that they are very, very cheap. And if you have kids or you're just starting and you're trying to learn technique with ferro rod or maybe you just don't wanna pack that car full of newspaper like I know so many car campers do to get that fire going, this is a great alternative. You don't have to really spend any money. For two bucks, you can get a big bag of cotton balls and a container of Vaseline. And then you could let those little pyros run off at camp and just light cotton balls on fire all day long. Okay, I mean, yes, yeah, supervise them, but you get my point. So I wanted to share this because I know I never did a video on this and fire starters are a very important thing to carry along with your ignition sources of your choice. So always carry something along like this with you. Inside that pill bottle, just gonna keep it a little bit more protected. They burn nice and um, again, they are a great tool and a great aid when you're learning to start fires. So definitely give this one a shot. I know you're gonna be happy with it and it's a fun project to do when you're home dreaming about being outside. So as always, this is Dan Wallach of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.